Tata wewe wewe sasa wewe wewe Unataka nini kwa hii Kenya wewe? What do you want in this country? You occupied the highest position in this country. What else do you want? You are the richest man in this country. You literally own this country in Kululeng ourselves. What do you want? Hii watoto ya wenyewe unaambia waende wakangangane na polisi wa uwawe. Hii ni matharau gani kwa watoto ya watu maskini? How contemptuous are you of poor people and their children? Why are you setting young people, innocent young people, against security apparatus in something that you know is not possible? You ask them to protect you from who? What political agenda do you want to advance using other people's children? And I've said we leave you to God because what you are doing is wrong. These are children of other women, just like your own. Why do you want to set them up? And you know the consequences of their activities. You know it cannot be allowed. You are simply setting them up. I really want to talk to our children. I want to talk to our parents. Please, don't let those people set your children against government because it will not work. Because there is no way we can allow that gang to come and rape our girls, to come and defile our children, to come and extort money from our tattoo operators. We cannot allow it. And therefore, if you allow your child to be misled, I'm sorry, but that is the truth. So officers, what we saw there at DCI Buanakanja, that thing must never happen again in this country. It cannot. It is the impunity of the highest order. It's the impunity of the highest order. Nakutharau wa Kenya and what they stand for. And these people think that we have forgotten. They think we have forgotten what those people did to our women, what they did to our children, what they did to our business people. We have not forgotten. Why are they reminding us? The wood is to your row. Why are they rubbing salt into it? So wewe tafadhali tunakuomba uende upumzike. Wachana na hii watoto wetu. Wachana na hii watoto wetu. Hao watoto ni wetu na tunawapenda. Don't take advantage that they are jobless. Don't take advantage that they are frustrated. Allow us, allow the president and us to build houses wapate kibarua waende wakafanya kazi. Tukubalie nafasi tupange biashara ya hao vijana. Tukubalie nafasi waende kwa NYS. Give us a chance. Allow us a chance to see what we can do with these young people. Don't set them up against what you know is not possible because it is not right to do what you are doing. A police station is as efficient as a station commander. A police station is as rotten as a station commander. A police station is as corrupt as a station commander. It all boils down to leadership. A station commander defines what happens in that station. If he decides he will be collecting bribes, they will be, collect they will be collected by the OC, his deputy, the OC crime, the inspectorate, the NCOs, and the constables. Because that is the leadership that has been provided in that station. Kazi ya station, kuchukua hongo, kwanzia mkubwa, all the way to the constable. If the station commander decides that in the station there is no corruption, there is no bribery, the deputy station commander will not collect bribes. The OC crime will not collect. The NCOs will not. The constables will not. What am I saying? This war on illicit bruise and drug abuse and other crimes will solely be in the hands of the station commander and the success or failure of it will be your marking scheme. And there is no station commander who has failed in us. One station will be taken to lead another one. No. It's not possible. Kenya was sliding into a drunken country. And a whole generation 
between the age of 24 and 35, the most productive section of our society was almost getting lost. So we started this journey in Nyeri, in the Central Kenya region, not because I come from there, but because the problem was of the Hags magnitude in that area. And I also, like the president, felt that even Jesus started in Jerusalem before he went to Judea. So I'm also here today in defense of my boss that I cannot also allow and I cannot sleep. And Professor Kendiki shouldn't sleep too when the backyard of our boss is getting completely consumed by illicit alcohol and drug abuse. We have a problem with our police officers who are supposed to go and arrest drunkards, but they are more drunk than the people they are going to arrest. That we have a problem. You are Mimi, um, I'm a truthful man. Nasemanga tu ukweli. Ukweli ni kwamba, from today, hii region, ma officers wetu watapigana na ulevi, na madawa, na vile professor hamesema, na kaja hamekubali, we are not going to transfer a problem. That is a decision that has been made in the National Security Council shared by the president himself. We will not transfer a problem from Rift Valley to Western Kenya, because that will be foolish. Wewe kama uwezi pigana na hii maneno, utupatia na fasi tafatali, vijana ni wengi, of sasa amene, who can do the similar job. And the professor is very candid. Wanakaja, we have a problem, that is the truth. We have a problem. When, license, when the legal licensing court was being chaired by the DC, na watu ya nakada na nini na nini. The kind of bars we have seen being licensed by county governments, it was not possible. Governors have licensed every small building in a trading center into bar and restaurant. Ukweli ya mawongo? And these officers are complaining, and they are right. Bar and restaurant is that huge place with a big hotel, na marumu ya kulala, na nini. Sasa, ukilala hapo, unaeza kunywa kitu, unaeza kukula. So, inafunguliwa throughout. Because you eat, and unateremusha moja, eh, kusiaka chakula, which is okay. This is fine. Kama ni wine, chupa mo, one glass or two, which is okay. You know? Now, governors, nyinyi, my people, Susan, in every small trading center, there are 10 shops. One is a shop. Another one is a hotel. The third one is a butchery. Seven are bars. Bar and restaurant. Selling the, during the day, during the night. To make it bar and restaurant, wanaweka mutura pale inje, apo inje, inachomwa hapo, ati yoni bar and restaurant. <laughs> please, please, <laughs> I think uh, uh, governors will meet Wangusha. He pays ya Pombe, the revenue from Pombe. Mukubali, we dedicate that amount, some to Nakada and others to the rehabilitation centers. You know, because why we have a problem? Because we are requesting you to have a rehabilitation center in every county, fully fledged with everything. We are asking you to consider the drug addicts Mwalipi NHIF were headed rehabilitation. We are asking you to consider the revenue you get from licensing bars, Mukubali, it was idea to save the people you lead. Give a certain percentage to Nakada who are doing a very good job, but they have no funding. The rest you dedicate it fully within the county to have rehabilitation centers and to assist in checking addiction and dealing with it. We want to confirm today that this administration will never assign officers of administration and the police 
political duties. First and foremost, they are bad at it, so it is not wise to apply them that way. Number two, they have a job to do, and they are paid for. To protect life and property, to create peace and harmony, and to spear development. I want to assure you that our MPs here, from our side of the coalition, should never ask you to assist them to do politics. And if they tell you, look for us. Even if they are in Kenya Kwanzaa, they are in UDA, you are not their errant boys. That is not your work. And Professor, you have said you are going to arrest people. Yeah, when you took this job, I told you, this job you have no friends. Even myself, if I do something wrong, come for me. Because yeah, now, this work of national security, security is non-negotiable. I mean, it's such an important aspect of our existence as a country that anybody who violates the law, who gets involved in criminal activities, you must be prepared for the consequences. Come on, don't embarrass yourself by doing things that are not right because you embarrass everybody. These are difficult situations to arrest a governor, to arrest a senator. But they must be arrested if they break the law. But you really put us in a very difficult situation. President, I, Professor Kindiki, the rest of us here, none of us has a problem with alcohol. Personally, I must admit, I used to drink a lot before I got saved. But since I stopped drinking, my things have been very good. That's how I'm deputy president. So I invite those who drink to consider to stop, to drop it. And maybe your things will get better. None of us has a problem with alcohol. But we have a problem with the poison in the name of alcohol. That we have a problem. We have a big problem with poison put in bottles and sachets and described as alcohol. That we have a problem. None of us has a problem with licensed establishments. But we have a problem with licensed establishments selling poison as alcohol. We have a problem. None of us has a problem with licensed establishments selling the right products. But we have a problem with the licensed establishments selling alcohol from 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. the following day. That we have a problem. We have a problem with the people who have opened factories in their houses and distilleries and unhygienic conditions and they are not licensed. That we have a problem. We have a problem with the people who are bringing ethanol across the Tanzanian border in Namanga at night and using it to manufacture poison under the guise of alcohol. We have a problem with that. We are very happy with police officers who are doing a good job. But we have a serious problem with a few of them who have conflict of interest, who have opened bars in the areas where they serve. We have a problem. I want to reiterate what uh, our CS Interior said. These proscribed criminal gangs that are being revived by politicians. I want to speak from Nakuru and say that uh, the revival of those gangs cannot and will not be allowed. It is not possible. That particular gang we saw in DCI there is responsible for murder, rape, defilement, extortion, beheading people, doing crazy things that I cannot mention to our women. Anybody who thinks that he can revive that gang to come and harass our women, to come and kill Kenyans, to extort money from Matatu people, 
to extort money from business people. Those characters were even going to people's home and milking their cows. And they tell you to wait the milk first, you take the rest of the milk. And I want to say, I want to appeal to our young people. And I want to talk to parents and our church leaders. Please talk to our young people. More so in central Kenya. Nakuru here, like Kipia. Bit of Eldoret, bit of Lodiani. Because they are targeted. They are basically the diaspora of the Mount Kenya region. They are the ones who have been targeted into that stupidity by that sect leader who has nine posh homes which he runs from the proceeds of extortion by the people who follow him blindly. I want to talk to our young people. Please, please don't go that route because the government will come in very heavily on you 